Welcome back to the Duda Experts Education Series, brought to you by the Duda Solutions Partners here at Fixate Media. Today we're going to talk about the Duda Text Widget. It's probably one of the most used widgets in the platform, and it's definitely where we start all of our live trainings. Clicking into the Text Widget here will present you with a formatting bar. And in most cases, most of our clients would be familiar with a handful of these options, but not all of them. So we're going to take a few moments and we're going to go through the whole bar. First up, bold. Easy to highlight words and make them boldface. Same with italics, same with underlines. Now, these three dots, clicking those will expose four more formatting options, beginning with letter spacing. There are three presets, auto, narrow, <coughs> And wide and of course you can then choose a custom setting as well next up we have the ability to affect text shadows on our text and there you can also control the shadow color the blur amount as well as the positioning on the text we can affect a strike through and we can also affect uppercase or all capping next up we have the color of the font. Clicking the color option will bring up your theme colors as well as recent colors that were used. And clicking more or less will allow you to select other colors in the spectrum as well. The T with the line through it allows you to clear formatting. Whoops, to clear formatting. So highlighting the words and clicking that will now remove any of those formatting changes that I have made. In most cases, your site is going to be preset with all of your design elements. So highlighting words and choosing the heading one would affect the heading one font, heading two font, and so on. However, you're afforded with great flexibility. And even though you have all of these presets, you can go down to one letter, one word, and change not only the color of that, but even the typography or the, the font and even the size. Moving over, we have all of our different typography or font choices within the site. You also have the option to add custom fonts if necessary. We have our font size. We have the ability to then link. And so to link certain words, you simply highlight the words and click the chain link icon. Once you've done that, all of the various link options are going to present themselves. And important to note that these same options are going to be present whether you link words in Duda, buttons in Duda, images, announcements bars, anything you can link is going to have all of these choices. And it begins with linking directly to a page. You can simply select from the drop down and choose the page. You can choose to go to a website URL. And in most cases, you would open that in a new window or have them link off of the website. And here are three brand new options in the last week or so in the Duda platform that you can set those links to not follow as sponsored as well as user generated content. Your next option up is to create or link to a pop up. These would be user triggered pop ups which are created and then can be linked to buttons, images and words. Anchor links allow you to link up and down to different anchor points on different pages, provided you have created those. Blog posts. You can link directly to any individual blog post. You can, of course, link to an email address, click to call for phone numbers, as well as files for download with a file size limit of 50 megabytes per file. Next up, we have text alignment, line height, very similar to letter spacing, but now we're dealing with the actual height of the spacing between the rows. Numbered list, bullet points, text direction. For certain applications, this allows you to connect to data or dynamic content. And then of course we have the undo and the redo feature. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks from the Fixate Duda experts.